Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Sylvia Ocasio with another word from the Lord. Just continuing in Isaiah. This is chapter 54. You guys, truly, this has to, God wants me to do this. I'm being obedient. Okay. A perpetual covenant of peace. 54. Chapter 54. Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. You who have not labored with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. Verse 2. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwelling. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Verse 3. For you shall expand to the right and to the left, and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Verse 4. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Verse 5. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Hallelujah. And your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. For the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit. Like a youthful wife when you were refused, says your God. Verse 7. For a mere moment I have forsaken you. But with great mercies I will gather you. Verse 8. With a little wrath, I hid my face from you for a moment. For a moment. But with everlasting kindness, I will have mercy on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. Verse 9. For this is like the waters of Noah to me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah would no longer cover the earth, so I have sworn that I would not be angry with you nor rebuke you. Verse 10. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed. <laughs> yes. But my kindness shall not depart from you. Nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O oh, you afflicted one. Verse 11. Tossed with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones with colorful gems. And lay your foundations with sapphires. Verse 12. I will make your pinnacles of rubies. Your gates of crystals. And all your walls of precious stones. Verse 13. All your children. Shall be taught by the Lord. Capital L. Capital O. Capital R, capital D. Verse 13, all your children shall be taught by the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. Verse 14, in righteousness you shall be established. 
In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. You shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. Verse 15, indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 16, behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the spoiler to destroy. Verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. Amen. Father God, I pray that you stir up the hearts of the people. Give them ears to hear. Lord, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. For the love of God. Lord Jesus, let your will be done, God, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your, our daily bread. Your word, God, is my daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen. And the power, too. I said that off the top of my mind, you guys. I love you, though. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Don't be afraid. He's with you. Good night.